Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. We've looked previously at this spreadsheet which was a risk assessment matrix and we particularly looked at this ID row and how to use row to automatically update the numbering. Now if you've not seen that video I'll link to it in the description but following on from that video somebody asked the question as to how do you get it to format these numbers so they appear in the format say 001, 101, 100, so always with three digits in it. And that's actually very quick and easy to do in Excel. We're going to use custom formats. Now I'm planning on doing a few videos on custom formats, so if there's anything particular that you're interested in, again, do let me know in a comment. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all these cells. And we're going to use the shortcut Control and 1 to bring up the Format Cells box. You can also right click and then select Format Cells. And we're going to come down to this custom button at the bottom. Now custom formats look a little bit scary because of all these hashes. So in a future video, I'll try and explain it in a little bit more detail. But for now, we're just trying to do some very simple formatting in terms of getting it into that format with say three digits for every single number. So what we're just going to do in here, we're simply going to type 000. And as you can see in the little sample at the top, it's used the first cell. And it shows that the format is going to come up as 001. So if we click OK, you'll see all those numbers are now in that three digit format. So if we hit Control 1 again and come again to custom, you could actually say also if you wanted more, you could do four digits and click OK. You'll see now that it's all in the four digit format. You can also use custom formats to combine it with text. So let's go back in. So instead of using the ampersand sign or things like text join, we can use our custom format in here to add in some text at the start. So clicking into our box again, this is as simple as say, typing in the word you want. So say we want to start with a ref and a dash, we're just gonna type ref dash, and you can see that that's not quite worked right. So what we're gonna do is gonna wrap that ref up in some inverted commas. And you'll see now that we've got ref dash 001 and click okay. And it's done that formatting for them all. Now this is very useful where you want all your references to uh, start with the same number, but say that that's not exactly what you want. Let's just put this back to simple numbers for now. So control and one, we're just gonna go back to the number format and I'm going to add in an extra column here. Actually, I'm going to add in an extra two. So say this second column is going to be our region. So we're going to title it region. And let's keep it simple. Let's just say we have north, south, east, and west. I've actually put an extra space in there. I want to take that out. And we'll just repeat this down to the bottom. And we'll just stick in an extra west there at the end. And in this column, we're going to put our new reference. Now you can join these together using equals this cell with an unpersand on this cell. And say in the middle there, you actually want a dash as well. So we're going to go ampersand, open our brackets, put in our dash and close it up again. Hit enter. But what you'll find is that if you try and use custom formats in this, you will be able to get that 001 option. However, there is a workaround for this. And that's to wrap up this last bit in a text function. Now we've used text in the past before. I want to show you how it works. So text. And you want to select your value. So say there's 25 here. And then you put in the format of your text. Now this is going to be the same format that you put into your format cells box. Now if you remember that was 000. Now if you do it like this, it will just revert back to a plain zero so it won't work right as you can see there. So you do need to wrap it up in some inverted commas. So then we hit enter and you'll see you've got that format again. So you can wrap this up here. So we want to put it in front of this last parameter. So we're going to say text, that's our value. And we want that format to be that inverted commas with the zero, zero, zero. Close up all our brackets and hit enter. And there you can see that you've got all your zero, zero, 1002 all the way down to 0025. Now you might also want this first section, but maybe you only have the first letter, so an N, an S, an E, and a W. You can use another function such as left. So if we go left, we want the text, and we only want the first character. We're going to close that up and hit enter. 
Now you can see that you've got a shortened up referencing system, but it's based on these two columns. There's lots of useful things you can do, both with your custom formats and with a number of your text functions. If you'd like to know a little bit more about these, I'll link to some of the videos I've filmed previously in the description below. If you found this video useful, remember to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. I hope you've enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you next time.